Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips. And in this video, I'm speaking about how Facebook ads actually work. So you might be someone who's new to running ads on Facebook and you're wondering, where do I start? What's Facebook ads all about? How do I utilize it to drive more leads and sales to my business? So the first thing that I wanted to cover is the relationship between Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook own Instagram so you can manage all of your ads within the Facebook ads manager so to get to the facebook ads manager you can literally just go to your facebook account and then click on the plus icon and then you should see where it says ads and managing your ads and then when you click on that you can actually then go into the ads manager and manage all of your advertisements for facebook and for instagram now when you post organically on instagram and on facebook you have probably seen the feature where you can boost your post. Now, this is kind of just to gain exposure to that post. You might gain more views, you might gain more likes, you might even gain a few follows. But as a rule of thumb, I haven't necessarily seen it drive really great results in terms of driving leads and sales to businesses. Now, I'm an entrepreneur who has used Facebook ads for my own business, and I'm also a marketing consultant as well. So a lot of my clients have used Facebook ads too. And I've only ever seen one person use the boost post feature and actually drive sales back to their website. The rest of my clients have all used the Facebook ads manager. So when you go to create your first ad, you will see a pop-up that asks you what kind of campaign you would like to run. Now you can run an awareness campaign, a consideration campaign, or a conversion campaign. Now for those of you who are entrepreneurs, business owners and you want to drive leads and sales back to your business, I highly recommend the conversion campaign because Facebook will actually optimize your campaign if you set it up correctly for more conversions and more sales back to your business. And obviously, as entrepreneurs, that is what we want. So your Facebook ads, when you start running them, they will be run on multiple different places. As I mentioned, you can run them on Instagram, you can run them on Facebook, but there's many different places as well where your ads can run, including the Facebook feed, and also in stories and multiple other places as well. So Facebook will analyze where your ads are performing best and they will start to show your advertisement more on the places and to the people who they have seen are actually converting for you into sales and leads. So that's why I always recommend going for conversion ads when setting up your Facebook ads campaign. You've probably heard a lot of people talk about the Facebook pixel and yes, the Facebook pixel is really important. Now you can simply add the Facebook pixel by going over to where it says events manager and in events manager, you can go over to add event and you can add a pixel and this will give you a code. And this code that you get, this pixel code, you want to include that in the head section of your website. So depending on what website you're using, this process is going to be slightly different, but the pixel that you use on your website is basically going to help Facebook to analyze what people do when they come to your website as a result of clicking on your Facebook ads. So this gives Facebook a really good idea of how well your Facebook ad is performing. And this will give you great insight in terms of what is working and what's not working for your Facebook ads so you can make adjustments. Facebook also allow you to create what's known as custom audiences. So you can create an audience based off of your Instagram followers, your Facebook page, also your email list and your past website visitors too. I've done tutorials on these and I'll leave some of them in the description down below. But why is this so important? Well, with Facebook marketing, you can actually advertise to what's known as cold traffic and also to warm traffic. So cold traffic are people who've never known about you before. They've never come across your brand or your website before. And these are cold visitors who are less likely to convert for you into leads and customers for your business. However, if someone is following you on Instagram on your business page or someone is part of your email list database or someone's following your fan page on Facebook, Facebook, then they are a lot more likely to purchase from you or to become a lead for your business. So you want to make sure you're advertising to these people as well. And I know what you might be thinking like, why on earth would you want to advertise to someone who is already following you on Facebook or who is already a part of your email database? 
Well, the algorithm doesn't always allow for people who are following you to see your posts. And sometimes people who are subscribed to your mailing list, they might not always get your emails. It might end up in the spam folder or they might just completely miss it because they've got a really busy inbox. So advertising to them using Facebook ads can be a great way to get back in front of them again and to really show them your marketing message, whether that's a product, whether that's a service or whatever it is you want them to take the next step with in your business. I have personally found that running advertisements to my client's existing audience is a great way to actually drive successful results. Now you can also use Facebook to create what's known as lookalike audiences as well. So if I go, for example, into all tools, and I go into audiences, then I can actually create an audience. And if I go to custom audience, you will see all of the different types of audiences that I can create. Like I said, your past website visitors, your customer list, app activity, offline activity, Instagram account, Facebook page, and so on and so forth. But I can also create a, a lookalike audience from some of the audiences that I've created. So for example, my Instagram followers, if I click on that, then it gives me the options to create a lookalike audience from this audience here. And as you can see, this audience will be a, a lookalike of people who are already following me on Instagram. So let's say, for example, you have a following on Instagram of 5,000 people who follow your business page, but you want people who are similar to your Instagram followers to also see your marketing message you can create a lookalike audience in here. Now, it, there's different percentages here for lookalike audiences. And the 1% audience is basically Facebook telling you that this is the 1% of Facebook who are most like or most similar to your existing audience. So when you become 2%, then it will give you a bigger audience, but the 2% are less like your existing audience and then when you get three percent then obviously it's a bigger audience again but again it dilutes how relevant that audience is to your original audience so the more of a percentage you go the bigger of an audience you get but the less likely these people are to convert so that's why the default setting is one percent you may want to try two percent if one percent is converting really well and you want to try and expand but i always recommend starting with a one percent lookalike audience also when you're running a conversion campaign you want to tell facebook what a conversion actually is so if facebook know what a conversion is then they know what to optimize for they know what a success metric is and if they're noticing a lot of success coming from a particular place on facebook or advertising to a particular demographic on facebook then they know to advertise to that demographic even more so so when you go to all tools again you can actually go into events manager and come up here to create and you can create a custom conversion. So this allows you to tell Facebook exactly what page people will land on when they successfully complete a conversion on your website. So sometimes it will be an exact URL that people land on, and other times the URL will just contain something. But you know, let's say for example, you run an online store, and when someone makes a purchase, the URL isn't exactly the same for everyone, it's slightly different, but the URL will contain something in every successful transaction. So you wanna put URL contains for those particular circumstances. And if the URL that someone lands on is exactly the same, then you can put URL equals and the URL that it is that people will successfully land on when they complete a purchase or a sign up on your website. So when it comes to actually setting up your ad, it's fairly simple. Go to all tools again, go to ads manager, and you will notice that there's three main steps to setting up a campaign. You have the campaigns, you have your ad sets, and you have your ads. So if I click on create, and I'm gonna choose a conversion campaign and continue, then I am in the campaign section at the moment because this is the first section, and then you will see I can toggle through to the ad set section and also to the ad section as well. So you can fill in the details here. Most of the details here on the campaign section, you don't necessarily need to change unless you wanted to do some A-B testing, but you might not need to do that until you get a little bit more advanced with your Facebook ads. So the next section is your ad set level. And most of you will be advertising through your website, but if you're advertising an app or through Messenger or through WhatsApp, then those are all options as well. 
Here is where you will choose the custom event that you have created. And when I click on that, you here are all of my default events and I just want to choose the one which I want to market and advertise. And then you can also select your budget as well. So whatever daily budget you want to spend, then you can put that daily budget in here. You can also schedule this to go live as well. So if you didn't want it to go live, as soon as your ad was approved, you wanted it to go live next week or in a few days, then you can add the date and the time that you want it to go live. Now you can also set an end date for your campaign as well. If you want your campaign to automatically end at a specific time on a specific day, then you can add that. But if you want your campaign to just continue running, then you can always go in and pause the campaign or delete the campaign if you wanted to, but you can have it continuously running if you just don't set any end date here. So when it comes to your audiences, here is where you can add your custom audience if you like. Uh, you don't have to, you can create a new audience um, or you can just do some detailed targeting when you tell Facebook what location, what age, what gender you're targeting. And also you can enter any uh, interests, demographics or behaviors in here as well. And Facebook will target the people who have those specific requirements. Now you can also toggle with adjustments. As I mentioned, Facebook will actually advertise everywhere where your advert will fit so in the stories in the feeds for example um, and you can adjust this you can actually set manual placements as well if you only wanted your ad for some reason to show up in certain places then you can you know take away or add where you want your facebook advert to show up for now i highly recommend to keep this on all automatic because as i mentioned facebook will automatically optimize your campaign to show up in places that's getting the best results so i recommend just putting it on automatic and let facebook do all the work for you now the next step is the ad itself now i will be doing a video soon on how to create your actual facebook ads and some resources you can use to really create effective ads i've done some of them i've used canva to create effective ads before so i'll leave that video in the description down below but with facebook ads you can create video ads you can create image ads you can create carousel ads as well and you can also upload your catalog of products to facebook and it's fairly easy to create these ads and post them uh, onto your Facebook ad as well. So uh, you want to select what Facebook page and what Instagram account you want to use for your ad because every ad that you post has to be connected to either a Facebook page or an Instagram account. So if you don't have a business Facebook page or Instagram account, then you might want to create one before you start running your ads. So as you can see here, you can choose the format of your ads either a single image or video, a carousel or a collection. You can also choose your ad creative. So once you've created your ad creative, your creative is basically whatever you're using to attract people to your ad, whether that be your video, your image or whatnot, you can add the media um, and click on that. You can add your image or you can add your video and you can add your text as well, your primary text your headline, your description, and your call to action button as well. There's loads of different call to action buttons. Apply now, book now, contact us, download, get offer, whichever one appeals to your ad the best. And then once you've finished with that, you can literally publish your ad. Now, another top tip that I recommend for those of you running Facebook ads is to download the Facebook Ads Manager app. It's really useful. It allows you to see data quickly and effectively and analyze how well your campaigns are performing for you. You can see which campaigns are getting you conversions, sales, clicks, which ones are costing you money. You can pause a campaign, you can delete a campaign, and it really gives you insight into how well your campaigns are doing for you. If you really want a, a push as well for your Facebook ads, then I highly recommend downloading the formula. It's completely free. As you can see, there's a copy next to me. There's also a copy in the description down below as well. That will give you some of the fundamentals to marketing your, your business online, including Facebook ads as well. And if you really want to boost things to the next level, then join the membership program as well that I have available, which kind of gives you online on-demand courses that you can access. Details for that will be in the description. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please, 
click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.